Already, you guys know we love our guest here on News 2 today. Today we have a very special guest, Sean and Capers from Park, C Park Circle Skate. Thanks yep. for coming, yeah, guys. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, what an honor. So tell us, what is Park Circle Skate all about? I know that me and Grace Lau have been really into skating recently. It's become kind of our hobby. So yeah. tell us what you're all about and um, your initiative and how you're trying to get a skate park in North Charleston. Sure, yeah. So we're an advocacy group just made up of volunteers uh, like myself and Capers. Mm -hmm. And we're really we're working with the city to help get the city its first ever public and free to use skate park. You know, Charleston being one of the largest cities in the state, we don't have one of those, unlike a lot of the other cities around the state. And so um, really our underlying goal is to make skateboarding more accessible to our community. And part of that is to get a first ever skate park and also to do these free youth skate clinics that we've done. Um, yeah, and we've partnered with the North Charleston Police Department to do one and the Carolina Youth Development Center to do a handful with them as well. So, so cool. Yeah. I know we have some video of yeah. some of y'all's lessons here. I know that Capers, you teach mm -hmm. some of the lessons. Mm -hmm. How yeah. did you get into skating? Um, so it kind of started out with like a friend mm -hmm. of a friend, like taught me. And I honestly, that just sparked. Like he taught me how to do an ollie that sparked. I, yeah. I went flying it's so into it. It's like, a, it's a solo sport. I love yeah. it so much. And uh, I've met a lot of really cool people uh, doing it. Yeah. Sure. yeah, what is it like for you getting to teach kids how to skate? Is that rewarding um, to you? It really is rewarding. It's cool to see like, you know, kids, you know, learning how to ollie. They mm -hmm. get so happy. Yeah. They get very joyous. It's, it's really fun. It's I love really it. Yeah. Now, Sean, tell me, I know that you've worked very hard. You've talked mm -hmm. to a lot of city officials about mm -hmm. the skate park. Why do you think it's important to have one in North Charleston? Yeah, it's just about having a safe place for people to do it. Um, you know, so kids aren't out in the street trying to skate, but it also brings people together and have that community um, and learning resilience together and just, you know, having that bonding that you can have. And it's a very intergenerational sport. As you all have seen going to a skate park, you have people of all different ages, all different backgrounds, very divor yes. uh, diverse sport. Yes. And so that's why it's so important. Just like you would have basketball courts, tennis courts, et cetera, in a community, uh, you know, a skate park, that's a community sized skate park is also very important, especially yeah. with it being as popular as it is today. It's in the Olympics, you know, it's, it's, yes. it's just so many people are into it t today that, you know, every community needs a place to do it. So, I love yeah. it, so cool. Well. Um, last question for you guys. Mm -hmm. How can people get involved in this? I know yeah. that it's kind of in the works. So how can people join in and help this cause? Yeah, so just reach out to us. We're on Instagram at Park Circle Skate. We have a website, parkcircleskate.com. We also have a Facebook page. So yeah, just reach out to us if you'd like to get involved with clinics or just our initiative uh, working with the city to get the skate park built. Yeah. I love it. I believe in this. I think it's going to yeah. happen. I'm ready for it. It'll yeah, be super too. fun. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah. Here on yeah. Thank you today. so much. Yes. Yeah. Next on News